All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It all depends on where you're watching this tutorial from. My name is Modi Collins. Um, greetings from Nigeria. And um, this particular tutorial is recorded during festive, um, the Christmas season. So I want to wish you uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Okay, so um, today we'll be handling conversion reaction. Uh, but before going to that fully, I would like to remind those that are just watching my tutorials for the first time that you have to, you need to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so you have access to all the videos I've done in the past and also the um, tutorials that will be coming up newly. Okay, so do well to subscribe to the channel and also start from the beginning so you understand um, the basis of Aspen High Seas and how you can use it to model other unit operations. So. Um, at the end of today's tutorial, you should be able to uh, handle conversion reaction with Aspen High Seas and also model a conversion, rea um, conversion reactor, all right? So for this particular um, tutorial, we'll be, we'll be using um, the production of hydrogen from hydrocarbons as our case study. So we'll be dealing with the partial oxidation of, partial oxidation of, um, um, of methane, yeah, of methane, okay? As a case study for this, all right. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to arrange this place. Okay, so we're going to go straight into what we have for today. So, for our component list, we have about about four components or there about. Let's just add them. We have methane. Okay, we have methane. We have um, we have nitrogen. Okay, we have nitrogen, we have oxygen, we have um, CO, we have CO2, and we have hydrogen. Okay, so the food package for this particular simulation is Pang Robinson. All right, if you go through how to select the appropriate food package for your simulation, you understand why we have to choose Pang Robinson. Okay, all right. So now we have to uh, define. We have to we have to define the reaction. We have to carry out the reaction here in the property tab before we go straight to the simulation environment. All right. If we don't do that and add the reaction to fluid package, we will not be able to see the reaction in the simulation environment. Okay. Having said that, we'll all we need to do now is click on the reaction tab, then click on add. All right. Hope you're following. Okay. So when you click on add, you click on add reaction. This um, dialog box comes out, select conversion reaction and click on add reaction. So we have two basic reactions for this particular case study. We have the partial oxidation reaction and we have the complete oxidation reaction. Okay, so we'll add the two reactions. If added the first one, we'll add the second one, then close this. Alright, so we have to open up the reaction one. Right, open it up, add the components. So for the reaction one, we have um, uh, one mole of methane reacting with half mole of oxygen to give us um to give us uh, co in the um, two mole of hydrogen yeah two mole of hydrogen okay so this is where we have to deal with this stoichiometry so uh, we have um, like i said one mole of methane reacting one half mole of oxygen so for the reactants we're going to denote that with a negative sign showing that those components are depleting so we we'll have one more Okay, we have a uh, minus 0 0.5 that's half mole of oxygen to give us. Um, so the product sign has to be positive, showing that those ones are uh, being formed in the process. So we have two moles of um, hydrogen. So as you can see, the balance error here is zero. Make sure that your ba the balance error is zero. Okay, so we'll come over to the basis. The base component definitely is methane. Okay, reaction phase overall. Then um, so for the conversion, definitely your conversion won't be more than 100% conversion since we have two reactions, or we have to share the um, percentage into two. So we assume for the um, partial oxidation, 
okay the conversion will be 40 percent all right so we are done with this we're done with this so we have to define the second reaction so double click on the second one for the second one we'll have one mole of methane reacting with uh, uh one mole of oxygen to give you um i think a mole yeah a mole of co2 and two moles of hydrogen all right so for this we're going to denote this with minus one uh, minus one and um one two all right okay then um, the balance error is zero very very important then uh, this has to be 60 okay all right so we're done with this we're done with this um for conversion reaction you have to rank the reaction very important you have to rank the reaction by ranking you you you, you are telling heises that you want this reaction to occur simultaneously so after the first reaction the second one has to follow okay um or sequentially rather yeah sequential that's what I, want, I wanted to say all right so we click on the ranking so uh, reaction one has to occur first so we denote the rank with zero then reaction two we follow we denote this with one okay all right so um this happens before this all right so we'll close this ranking has been done but one more thing all right another thing we can change this to can rename it since we're dealing with oxidation reactions so i can just right click on set one and change the name to oxidation uh, oxidation reaction all right okay all right it hasn't changed all right so one more thing we've defined the reaction we've carried out the reaction um in the properties manager but we've not done the last step which is the most important because without doing this you won't be able to see the reaction in your simulation environment so we need to add this to fluid package as you can see it said not attached to fluid package so we have to add it to fp so um click asset fluid package so our reaction is ready we can now go straight to the simulation environment where we have to define our material streams so we'll have two streams uh, that um we'll have two streams methane our methane stream temperature 25 uh pressure 2 bar that's about 14 point something psi g so yeah okay 2 bar then the flow rate is 100 kilogram mole per hour all right and uh composition for methane So I think I need to change my unit sets. Let me see this. Okay, I need to quickly clone a unit set so it can align with what I want to do. One minute. Okay. Yeah, there's a tutorial on this, so I won't be explaining much on what I'm doing. Okay, so I can call this oxidation. Okay, so I like that. All I want is just the pressure to be in bar. Okay. I think that's all I need. That's all I need. So, okay, so two bar 100. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, so. So I'm going to call this air uh, and um, temperature 25, pressure 2 bar, uh, flow rate 260 kilogram mole per hour, composition nitrogen 0 0.79 and then oxygen 0 0.21. So making the summation of the uh, mole fraction to be one okay so i think this is ready so we get a conversion reactor yeah conversion reactor okay uh, 
one minute okay so this is our conversion reactor we'll get it out all right so i have two inlets my methane and um, air inlet so i call this oxidation vapor oxy vapor and um oxy liquid is oxidation liquid all right so okay so i have to come over to reaction remember the reaction we define in properties um, manager so i can just come here select it remember i changed the name to oxidation reaction so i select this so um the reaction has just been carried out in the oxidation um reactor all right so um you can actually size you can size your okay you can size your reactor okay so let's go over to the result and see okay so in all we have about 74 percent conversion okay 40 percent conversion remember we assume the conversion over there so but in the actual reaction we can now see that 40 percent were was converted during the partial oxidation and we have about 34 percent of conversion um during the second reaction okay then you can come over to composition and check what you have in the oxidation report so we have co2 about seven percent co8 percent then we have about uh our hydrogen is about 32 percent okay 32 percent 32 percent here all right so in our next tutorial we're going to handle water gas shift reaction with that we use the case study for um uh, a tutorial on equilibrium reaction for further conversion of um, of um co2 or uh, to, to more hydrogen using steam so we'll be handling that in our next tutorial um i want to tell you a very big thank you for subscribing to my channel and for following my tutorials and uh, more tutorials will be coming up let's try it try this at home okay you can get the video download it keep trying it out get more reaction more conversion reaction and practice it if you have any question you can get back to me my number is on my channel all right thank you for your time